<laughs> that is the equivalent. Just got to make sure they work. <laughs> That's it. Making sure she's good. Okay, top sportsman. Dale O'Dwyer now in the Pontiac Firebird. He's selling in a 7.80 seconds. Now, Dale O'Dwyer campaigned for a lot of years in super gas, so he's got a, got experience. And he'll be taking on Matty Barron, one of the young guns, the heavy hitters in the Beretta. He's selling 8.25 seconds. He didn't get into the field until the last qualifier, Matty Barron. And uh, we can see Dale O'Dwyer, there's a bit of movement with the crew around the car. I'm not sure if they can't get the door shut on the uh, driver's side of the of the car. If you look to the other side of the screen, you can see his crew working on that door. There we go. All sorted. So Matty Barron, 8.25. The young gun taking on Dale O'Dwyer, dialing 7.80. The Barron family have won nearly everything put in front of them this season. Oh, 003. Nailed the tree, Matty Barron. 166 for O'Dwyer. And Barron backs off with an 832 on that 825, 149 miles an hour. O'Dwyer goes 779, his quickest pass of the weekend, breaking out, trying to catch up. Matty Barron, but Matty Barron, oh, oh no, we've had issues in the braking area for Dale O'Dwyer. So the car is just sitting there. We're not sure what happened at that point for O'Dwyer. We can see the car just sitting there. And pointing the wrong way on track, the Pontiac Firebird of Dale O'Dwyer. The car looks fine on this side of the uh, the screen that we're seeing. I'm just wondering if he's had a lockup. Yeah, he's still in his lane as well. So. He's still in his lane. Have, uh, have a look at the replay that's, uh, that's coming up on the screen now. So you can see Barron will have the shoots out early. And uh, as O'Dwyer comes across the finish line, shoots blossomed okay. And then uh, the car will get a little bit unsettled, didn't it? Yeah, this is a bit of a moment here for Matty Barron because he would see this car coming across in front of him, locking it up. Dale O'Dwyer. So we can see Matty Barron just behind him. And somehow looks like that at the moment every, he hasn't touched the wall he's just had it locked up we see Matty Barron just disappear from screen there and everything looks a-okay -okay for both cars here so it's just a lock up and a drive job from Dale O'Dwyer there on track and it will be a win for Matty Barron what a bit of a, that's a moment in round one of top sportsman. That'll get the uh, the heart rate out of I wouldn't want to have yeah. the uh, the Apple Watch after it's that. See what the, the heart rate got look up. Look at to. the replay. You're like, and yeah. you're talking. These guys are travelling at uh, 260 to 280 kilometres an hour. The shoots come out. When you lock it up, usually you don't want to be going sideways with big slicks because they'll grip and they tend to flip the cars and roll. So that Dale O'Dwyer, very very lucky here that the car stayed up on the shiny side. And thank God he didn't touch a wall because that's one of my favourite cars in Top Sportsman. And thankfully for Matty Barron as well. It was a good pass there for Whitmore, just not at the right time. Not at all, no. You, and that's the thing, as I said, with David Goldie, you just have to you have to take a chop of the tree. You, yeah. can't. you have to be on your A game because, exactly. like I said, the car's consistent, but Goldie's consistent as well with the reaction times. Yeah. Someone else who is known for his consistency is Steve Fowler. Oh, what a race. What a matchup we've got here. Stephen Fowler, championship leader, and Matty Barron. Talk about a race here. Heavy hitters in top sports for being in round number two of racing. So Stephen Fowler on screen. He is dialed in at a 687. So it's a big head start. It's one and a half seconds. But Steve Fowler is used to this. So he... He's been racing this car for a long time, so he's used to the weight on the start line. He, he, he's, he doesn't have lapses in concentration. You know he's going to be good on the tree. Well, you have to be, because he wins a lot of races. So he's used to it. He's used to the weight. Matty Barron, 8.24 dialing. He's been double O, double O on a lot of passes this weekend. He was killer on the tree last weekend at the winter warm-ups. But this is a different beast. This is a different sort of pressure that you can taste on the start line against Stephen Fowler. It is the cream of the crop here. No one going into stage. Both cars are in pre-stage. It is a staging duel here in Top Sportsman. 
no one going in. Royce is walking towards the cars. Will we see the signal from Royce? Royce is getting grumpy. The signal has been given from Royce. You must obey your starter at this point of the track. Barrett 019, Fowler goes 054. 400's advantage, Matt Barrett. Winlight goes to Matt Barron, 824 on an 824. Fowler goes 687 on a 687. Both races dead on their dial ins, but the reaction time advantage, Matt Barron, 19 to a 54, gets the win by three hundredths of a second. Matty Barron goes through to round number three of Top Sportsman. So, championship points, Mark. Great pass there for Oliveri that Goldie had. We'll see Goldie back in the next round of the Top Sportsman Racing. As we bring Matthew Barron forward now, the Aussie Diffs of Beretta. Bit of a score here for Barron. He's managed to nab himself the solo pass. So we'll see how close to that 8.25 dial in he can go. And if you're out in the pits or getting something to eat, you may want to start making your way back to your seat in the grandstand or on the mound, because I can see something very fast now staging lanes, which means very shortly, as soon as we get Matthew Barron down the quarter mile safely, we will be going into some top fuel funny car action. Barron goes through for an 8.25 on that 8.25 dial in, top it off with a 0.13 reaction time. He's looking good for the next couple of rounds of top sportsman racing. Yeah, absolutely. He's used that uh, that buy run to dial himself in, ready to uh, to rock and roll for the next round of eliminations, which will be coming up later this afternoon after our second round of eliminations. For our pro categories, it looks like we've got, uh, before we head into Nitro, so there you have it, Benny Bray, really looking forward to racing Paul Canuli in the final. Loves his Ford Mustang. We are into sport, uh, top sportsman action. This is Matthew Barron, the Aussie Diffs Beretta beside him at Troy Daniel in the beautiful looking Tirana. So this should be semi-finals time now for our top sportsman races. Who is going to go through to grab that Christmas tree. Yeah, this is exciting, Janie. We get to start uh, seeing who will make themselves uh, fill one of the two spots in the finals. Will it be Matthew Barron? Will it be Troy Daniel? In about 20 seconds, we'll find out. And I tell you what, it's uh, it's not much between the two dial-ins. We're having a bit of a burn down here at the moment on the start line. Neither competitor moving. Here goes Daniel. He's moved in. I tell you what, Daniel's probably been the surprise package of the weekend in Top Sportsman. He's sort of come from nowhere. However, he's just red lit and handed the win over to Matthew Barron, who is one of the heavy hitters in Top Sportsman. Matthew Barron goes through to the final with a breakout win, an 8.21, 165 miles an hour. Troy Daniel also does a double. Red lights and brakes out in 813, 145 miles an hour. If you can't win, be spectacular, Janie, and he did that, just that. He went fast. That's right. If you're going to do something, you do it properly, right? That's right. One six on the tree, and, uh, well, it was over from there. Top sportsman now rolling up to the start line, and um, if I said to you at the start of the weekend that neither Steve Fowler or uh, Daniel Morris would be in the final round of top sportsman, would you have believed me? Well, the odds weren't that, like, you'd think one of those guys would get through to the final, but, yeah, this man on track, David Golding, I would have had him up in the same echelon as those two drivers 100%. as well, and Matty Barron. Yeah, well, 100%. It's it, arguably uh, two of the most consistent cars in the field this weekend. In fact, uh, Matty Barron took down um, Steve Fowler. I would even say that in the last 12 months, uh, the Barron family have probably been the best racers in top sportsmen slash super sedan. They won something like nearly 30 consecutive rounds of racing. And that is absolutely incredible when you're talking sportsman racing at this sort of level. Absolutely. Now, Barron's sitting well out of the staging beams down here. Yeah, I'm wondering I'm if Matty is not happy sun, with the Yeah, I'm wondering sun. if the sun is becoming an issue down there because it is getting to that point in the day where it's uh, almost directly in the driver's eyes as they're looking at the uh, the Christmas tree there. Let's talk about the dial-ins. 8.22 for Barron, 7.39 for Goldie. 
So eight tenths of a second head, head start here for Matty Barron. Now it doesn't help as well that Matt Barron's car is pretty much filled up with uh, with smoke down there from the burnout, but either way he stays, so he's accepting the green light. Oh, 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 the tree to an 034 for Dave Goldie. We've got a race on our hands here. Goldie's gonna have to make up some ground at the other end of the racetrack. I don't think he's gonna do it, and he doesn't. Matt Barron wins it an 823 on an 822 dial-in. Uh, Dave Goldie was close, and at 741 on a 739. Margin of victory, 24 thousandths of a second in it at the finish line. And unfortunately for Dave Goldie, he's gonna have to settle for the runner-up this time around. Yeah, Matty Barron, tail of the tape here. 018 for Matty Barron, 034 for David Goldie on the start line. So Matt Barron had the slight advantage off the hit. Then across the finish line, Matty Barron was actually closer to the dial as well. 823 on the 822. Goldie goes 741 on the 739. Matty Barron, put your hands together. Winner in top sportsman. Just a great race there. Um, Matt Barron did everything right. Um, you know, 018 on the tree, looking into the sun like that. That's that's pretty impressive. That's uh, an absolute driver's job right there. As we see 